Mr. Honda. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And let me add my uh, thanks to both uh, colleague uh, Crenshaw and Farr for their, their work with us also. Mr. Chairman, I raise, uh, I rise today in, to thank uh, Chairman Dent and uh, Ranking Member Bishop for their work on this bill and for including a few of my uh, priorities for helping our returning veterans to re-enter civilian life. I want to thank you for recognizing the unacceptably high prevalence of suicide, suicide among female veterans, and for working with me to include report language, directing the VA to focus on improving treatment for female veterans uh, suffering from PTSD. I really appreciate that. And I also appreciate your attention to the growing problem of homelessness among the female veteran population. And I'm pleased that the chairman included language I sought urging the VA to work uh, to provide assistance to female veterans and female veterans with children. The, uh, finally, as co-chair of the Hepatitis B Caucus, with, I co-chair with uh, Chairman uh, Dent, I just wanna uh, just say that I'm very grateful that we were able to include language uh, in this report focusing on screening and treatment of veterans with also hepatitis B. And this disease is a very silent killer. In fact, the virus of the hepatitis B can live outside the body for seven days. And so it's really a very silent killer and it's very necessary that we have every resources to available to fight this. So I wanna congratulate the chairman and the ranking member uh, for helping us get through this process. I yield back. Further discussion? 